throwing out is Mr. and Mrs. G. Uh, it's Mr. and Mrs. G. Mr. and Mrs. G. When you mention we, from here on out, it's Mr. and Mrs. G. Oh, babe. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. G. Uh, babe. Oh, it's Mr. and Mrs. G. A heartbeat. Boom, boom. All right, all right. What's going on, family? Um, yeah, we are the Goldens. <laughs> this is the first episode of Mr. and Mrs. G, the vlog series. And um, my name is Jarrell Golden, for those that don't know. And this is my beautiful wife. Hi, y'all. Kia Golden, <laughs> I thought you was gonna give your name. And this little one down, this guy who's supposed to be sleep is Jaira, baby Jaira. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, this is where your topics, um, our take. take. Yeah, yeah, your topics, our take. So um, I put a post out what, like a month ago or something like that, basically, um, letting Facebook know and social media know that we were going to do, do this. And we just threw out there, sling us some concepts, sling us some things you want us to talk about and some very, very awesome, um, suggestions. Thank you everybody that threw some out there. And, um, we told you we were going to utilize them and we are, and we're starting with one that was my man will um william i told him he was gonna start a fight on this one but um we, we coming out the gate swinging all right <laughs> his question was how to manage intimacy as a husband and wife having three kids and both working full-time hours how to manage intimacy as a husband and wife having three kids and both working full-time hours yeah so, um, okay, what you so got? Let me start off. she got like a whole, <laughs> drrr, like every it's line really on not it. That much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Go um, ahead, babe. So I just wanted to start off with, you know, defining intimacy versus, um, sex. Sex and intimacy are not the same thing at all. And I think that when people think of, you know, um, intimacy really they think about sex and it's just it's so different sex is physical intimacy is emotional um and so when you think of sex you you know that according to um maslow's hierarchy of needs that sex is the basic human need but that is of course you and i human the human race in general would not exist um but when you think about intimacy you think of like for example holding hands or just pillow talk or offering massages without expecting something after your massage or going for a walk or just doing things together as a husband and wife, taking that time together as a husband and wife to just connect with one another on an emotional level um, and not just on a physical level because um, you need that intimacy. You need to be emotionally connected in order for, um, in order for your marriage to really grow and to strive. And I think that, you know, anybody, anybody can make time for what, what the um, teacher call it. <laughs> what first lady call it. Duty booty. Duty booty. Duty booty. <laughs> A little quickie, you know, that's sex. Yeah, anybody booty. can make time for um, some duty booty. But when you have intimacy, <laughs> <laughs> intimacy you need to really try to um make it make it mean something to eat to to each of us you know to you and to your partner um you know or whatever um so are you got anything to say about that are you want me to keep going no 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 i agree you agree i agree okay. um 100 go ahead okay no so more. um when I think of intimacy and how to maintain it, I think of um, really diving into the love language. Do you know your partner's love language? 
Do you know um, what they, how they communicate? Do you know what they need to feel loved? You know, the men, um, they need to be respected. According to the Bible, uh, wives respect your husband, men love your wife. What is that love language? I know that my husband needs words of affirmation. You know, I need to tell him, great job. You know, you're, you you did that, babe. Like, oh, you cleaned that kitchen. You you did that, babe. Look at you. <laughs> and things like that. Um, because that helps him feel appreciated. You know, when I don't do that and I'm in, I'm in my feelings about something, he'll be like, well, I just washed the dishes a few days ago. You didn't even say thank you. And first thing out of my mouth, well, you don't say thank you when I wash the dishes. <laughs> So, you know, but those that's his love language, that those words of affirm those um words of affirmation. So knowing your partner's love language can really help you um work toward building your intimacy as well. Um most women, oh I have here on my notes that most women most women need intimacy in order to want to go into the physical act of sex. You know, it's just it's not just you know, we, we, most women, we want that intimacy. We want to be, um, you know, complimented and cuddled and, you know, what's old folks call it petted, you know, when they say like a heavy petting, like PDA. I don't know nothing about that. You know, give me a little kiss on my neck and my neck kiss on my neck. Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, things like that, you know, we want to be our shoulders rubbed, or our feet rubbed, and things like that. Um, so, you know, we need to be uh, encouraged, I guess the word is. Show me a little intimacy before the physical act of sex. Men, men are are are, are sex driven. I'm gonna throw that out there. Um, you guys are sex driven, and I. And I had a thought cross my mind today as I was mentally preparing for this um, topic that, you know, um, sex can be an addiction. It can really, it can be an addiction. And I think that when, when men and women get married, you know, you come into this marriage with this addiction, it's important that you don't um, abuse your partner with this addiction don't think that just because they're your husband or they're your wife that you can just sex them without intimacy because you're still acting out of this addiction so it's important that you have the capability and the desire to really grow intimately with your spouse so that they're just not a a a, a, a what's what i'm looking for What's I'm looking for, y'all? In regards to... Your addiction. Not your addiction, but the addiction in general. So, like, let's say, for example, you come into our marriage addicted to sex. Then that's just your, um... I mean, I'm thinking just blatantly what it is from from along the lines of what you're saying. That's kind of like your, your sex toy, your... your your get off you whatever what I mean? the word is i'm looking for it wasn't yeah. that <laughs> no no like but just like your your, your get off in right a sense. right yeah. exactly so because it, if you if you come in here uh, abusing your partner with that mm -hmm. you know not addressing that addiction as it what it is mm -hmm. um you you will lack intimacy you will like because it's not what you want you don't want to you don't want to gain that emotional connection you just want to fulfill that physical act and it's okay because we're husband and wife now it's not a sin anymore right. um but did you do the quotation part did I? Mm -hmm. I don't know i don't know i don't know if i did sorry y'all yeah. <laughs> it, it ain't uh, unquoted it's not a sin anymore <laughs> When, when you're married, then it, it, it is what it is. Yeah. But it's but it is what it is. I understand. Yeah. So anyway, whoo, I got a little left field with y'all. Sorry. Oh no, um, these are all the notes. I told y'all. Look at. <laughs> hey, keep going. You didn't finish this whole page yet. So I guess my thing is talking about how to. Jarrell and I are still working on that. We are really still working on how to 
maintain, not even manage, but maintain that consistency, that making time that even in the midst of our crazy day, just to have intimacy, you know what I'm saying, with one another. And it's it's hard and it has to be something that the two of you, the two of us have sat down and said, this is what we're going to do. Um, for women, we are emotional beings. We are emotional creatures. We need that emotional connection um, because... I understand that men they 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 need sex. Sex drives them. That's what they that's what they need. And a lot of women will tell you, well, "I'm not feeling it." And it's because they're lacking that emotional connection. So, brothers out there, if your wife is not feeling it, husbands out there. Husbands, my brothers in Christ, <laughs> let me help you out. If she not feeling it, it's because you are lacking a It could be because you are lacking an emotional connection to your wife. It could be. <laughs> okay. I guess how you're right now. Mm. Cause why not? You know why? Why else? Any? Put it in the comments. Comment below. <laughs> if, if this was live, I would. <laughs> Either way, still, comment. still, definitely. Because comment, yeah. really and truly, tell me, ask your wife. Any, I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you need to ask her. What's your favorite flower? You know, if if I could just do anything for you to make your day easier, what can I do for you to make your day easier? How much you want to bet she ain't gonna be in the mood? It changes things. Being able to have that emotional connection, just to be able to communicate with her on that level. It changes things. It really, really does, and it opens that 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 trust gate. You know, we we all build walls, and it opens that that it breaks down that wall. Like, okay, I can trust you to take care of me emotionally now, so we can move forward and do bigger and better things in the physical realm. Potentially, I don't know, but I'm telling you, I'm saying this to say that. It is really important to work on building those emotional bonds. Um, so just my, 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 the key points are make time, make it a priority. Just like going to the gym or you wake up every morning at 730 to be to work at eight o'clock. This is what you got to do. You know, you got to go to work to pay your bills. You got to have an emotional connection to make your marriage work. So it's a, it make it a part of what this marriage needs to to build on or to be to build upon i guess the word the word is i'm trying to say what you gotta say babe um so how to manage in intimacy as a husband and wife having three kids and both working full-time hours um so what i got from that was one consistency mm -hmm. um two conversate with your wife to build that emotional bond mm -hmm. all right and make time yeah make time um and hands down most most definitely most definitely these are things that um are not new to me in hearing i've, I've heard these before so <laughs> yeah and i agree and i agree um i look at it I look at it for from so let's flip it real quick. Let's flip it from the emotional and let's take it to the to the to the spiritual. So God, family, business. So boom. It has to be consistency in play. Um and then that that conversation with him to to build that relational bond because that's key. That's the intimacy that God wants. You know what I mean? And that's the intimacy that he rewards in a sense. Um, he acknowledges that. He 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 loves that type of love for him. And um then the making of the time. The making of the time. And it all goes hand in hand. And as soon as you're able to do that with him, then doing it with your wife and doing it with your children or just everything else, I feel like it'll fall in play. Um but yeah, you, what, what you got? What you got? What you think about that? I think that that is good, but I think that you need to address to the men other ways that they can 
manage intimacy as well. Because for some of our viewers, you know, they don't really um, know how to, at this moment, build that type of that type of int intimacy that we that type of intimacy that we build with God. It's not something we do overnight. You know, that takes time. True. That takes time. Just like the intimacy we build with our spouses take time. Mm -hmm. But we're not saying, Gerald's not saying, you can't show your wife, you can't be intimate with your wife um, until you are intimate mm -hmm. with God. He's not saying that. He's saying that this is a, this is a partnership. This is a, this is a package deal. Right. Um, so for those of you who do not have currently that that intimate bond with god that's not to say you can't build that bond as well as build that bond um with your spouse yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and and i would definitely say you have to be intentional you have to be intentional in being consistent being intentional in communicating with your wife and being intentional and in making that time um literally and and why do you need to be intentional i mean either you want to do it or you don't either you either you want to grow with god or grow with your partner or not i mean like it's all on you it's all on you at that point but I and we can tell we can we, tell uh meaning females women yes the yeah. wives yeah. we can tell when you're taking us on a ride or if you're really being intentional yeah. behind your actions um so just remember that like we don't we don't necessarily we don't particularly like to be taken on a ride so and you i think about it too like if you have kids um they watching too. Mm -hmm. They watching too. Like my son, he peeps game. And he knows. He knows a lot. And I know, we know that he knows far more than what he even says. Mm -hmm. Um, so how I um spend time with mommy, he's peeping that. Um the 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 things that I say to her or me telling her I love her. When I get home from work, I give her a kiss or just different things of that nature. Telling her I love her or, or just different things, man. Um, he he knows that stuff. Mm -hmm. He's he knows that stuff, and I and I am intentional with that. Um, if I do volunteer to help clean the kitchen or something like that, he hears it. Mm -hmm. Um. Now him seeing it might be something different, but he hears me volunteer to to clean the kitchen. Um, but nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, it's just about intentionality, being intentional. Um, we're we're not we're not coming from the aspect of having it all together or knowing all of the answers. We're coming from the front line. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, like yeah. we are we are on ground zero. <laughs> right, it's a it's eleven o'clock. Yeah, p.m. p.m. in yeah. Central Virginia. Yeah, and we're up making this video with our yeah. Look at him, baby. Look at him. Look at the eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise he awake. <laughs> I promise you, he is awake. So I mean, it's about really making the time, and it's about wanting to do it. Yeah. You know, because you you gotta want to do it. You gotta want to do it because the more that you want it to do it the more you desire to do it it makes making the time easier you know it's just like for me going to the gym the first couple of weeks getting into that gym was hard like i had to make myself go but after that you can you can keep you couldn't find me anywhere but at the gym mm -hmm. and so it's just you just gotta do it just do it so and this is another thing too like so um I think we, I think we pretty much. I mean, what you think? You think we wrapped that up? That yeah. How to manage intimacy? I think we did too. If y'all, um, I mean, if you don't think so, comment below. Yeah. Ask more questions. Well, you know, hey, can y'all make a point on such and such? Can y'all make a point on such? Where this is, this is, this is uh, the first video take number three. <laughs> <laughs> you literally. So literally. we're um, about to pause this joint again just so we can start it back up. Literally. <laughs> so you know. 
we this is based on what you all need you yeah. know we're all growing from this so if there's something that we didn't touch on or something that you need to be able to uh, you want us to elaborate on yeah, expound on that right we'll just be willing to do a part too yeah absolutely so we're all this is all a learning experience i've never done a vlog he's never done a vlog we're learning here yeah so let us know what you think um let us know if you guys have any more topics let us know if you all want us to keep doing these vlogs or if it's not for you or whatever have you um comment on our cute baby he's really cute we know hopefully he's not gonna be hopefully he won't be in all the videos <laughs> he's gonna throw up i can feel it yeah <laughs> we're gonna try to make sure he's not in all of them he'll probably be in 80% of the videos. So if you got a problem with our baby being in the videos, this probably isn't the video for you. We are 100% natural. This is us in our element. Um, you might find me with makeup on one or two times. But I might pick my nose. <laughs> you don't know. I drink orange juice straight out the jug because it's my orange juice. Hey, we, it just is what it's it just is. Us. It you just know, is there's what no, it is. There's no facade. There's no fog. It's just this is who we are. So. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so in, in closing, in closing, um, if there are any other uh, suggestions or topics that you you would like to hear us talk about, please comment them. Drop them things in the comment section. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Right. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a little bell. Hit that bell so you can receive all the notifications. Mm -hmm. Um. We're, we're looking to do this thing for the long haul, man. And honestly, it's based on you guys because right. literally it's your topics and our take. So whatever you want to talk about or whatever you want us to talk about, comment it. Yeah. All right. What else, babe? Um, thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> ja, ja. You going to say see you? You say night night? We're going to bed. We're tired. <laughs> Alright guys, see y'all later. It's Mr. and Mrs. G. Mr. and Mrs. G. When you mention we, from here on out, it's Mr. and Mrs. G. Oh, babe. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. G. Uh, babe. Oh, it's Mr. and Mrs. G.